Imran Khan has a survived a move to oust him as Pakistan's Prime Minister, getting a reprieve when the Deputy Speaker of the Parliament blocked a no-confidence motion as unconstitutional. That is our top focus today on We On World Is One. American Joker, welcome to this broadcast. Now, an unprecedented situation is unfolding in Pakistan's National Assembly. We are getting you the latest visuals from inside the Pakistan National Assembly where the joint opposition is holding a parallel session after the House was adjourned by the Deputy Speaker. The combined opposition, which is on a sitting protest in the National Assembly, has chosen its Speaker and has presided for testing the floor strength. PMLN lawmakers Ayaz Sadiq has taken the chair of the Speaker. किसी स्पीकर के पास इख्तियार नहीं है कि वो कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन के ऊपर रूलिंग दे आर्टिकल फाइव ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन इसका वन कहते हैं लॉयल्टी टू द स्टेट इज द बेसिक ड्यूटी ऑफ एवरी सिटीजन आप सब अल्लाह ताला की मेहरबानी से लॉयल है टू द स्टेट ऑफ पाकिस्तान और किसी को हक नहीं है This is again an unprecedented situation which is unfolding in the Pakistan's National Assembly. These are the latest visuals from inside the Pakistan National Assembly where the joint opposition is holding a parallel session after the House was adjourned by the Deputy Speaker. The combined opposition which is on a sitting process in the National Assembly has chosen its Speaker and has presided over for testing the floor strength. The PMLN lawmakers Ayaz Sadiq has taken the chair of the Speaker. आज से आप सब अल्लाह ताला की मेहरबानी से लॉयल है टू द स्टेट ऑफ और राना ईशान अफजास uh, Khan, who is a PMLN spokesperson, is joining us live from Rahal. Thank you very much for joining us and welcome to We On. We have received reactions from some members in the National Assembly calling on the Supreme Court to take a decision. Others call this act by Imran Khan childish. What is your party's reaction to what has unfolded today? Uh, we feel that the Speaker's ruling is unconstitutional and illegal. They have invoked Article 5, which says loyalty to state and obedience to the constitution of law, where they have stated that the loyalty to state has been violated based on an international conspiracy that they have alleged uh, is the reason for the no confidence motion, which they have no proof of or no evidence of or which have not been proved by any court. So quoting that, they have said that the no confidence motion cannot be taken along as the loyalty to state has been violated. Whereas, we feel that the Article 5 of two states that the obedience to constitution and law is foremost. So, this is a, a constitutional havoc. It is, uh, uh, they have uh, violated that and we feel that we will uh, pursue all legal uh, options available, which is that we go to the Supreme Court against this ruling. That is one. The other is that the constitution states that the voting has to happen after three days and not beyond seven days. So today is the last day for the no confidence uh, motion to be voted. And hence, uh, even though the president, the prime minister has further, uh, you know, made, uh, announced that he has dissolved the assemblies and uh, the reference has been sent to the president and the president has dissolved the assemblies. But we feel that this is also unconstitutional and these will be revoked uh, through the Supreme Court. So now, currently, uh, the opposition is carrying on the assembly session. 
uh, Ayaz Sadiq Saab has taken this to see and mm. we will continue with the no-confidence motion. You will continue with the no-confidence motion. Um, how will that unfold? Do you think that Pakistanis will take this lightly? Because now you're planning a sit-in in the National Assembly uh, and this vote was adjourned hours ago. So what is your next move? Well, uh, you're right. This is, you know, it, it is a constitutional mess where uh, uh, the constitution, we feel that the constitution has been violated by the speaker and the remedy is with the Supreme Court. That aspect is also going to be pers uh, pursued. And further on, adding to that uh, uh, violation, the prime minister has dissolved the assemblies, which is also illegal because it cannot be done while a no confidence motion, which we feel is valid and has to happen today. Uh, then if it is ongoing, then the assemblies cannot be dissolved. So this is a, a constitutional uh, problem right now. And uh, uh, we are going to reject what the government has done. We don't accept their moves. They are unconstitutional. And uh, we are moving further with the assembly session and we are going to pursue our legal means. So obviously, uh, this is a, a, a point of uncertainty currently in Pakistan. And uh, the cause is Imran Khan who refused to accept his defeat and is using unconstitutional means. I am talking to PMLN spokesperson Rana Afzal Khan. Rana, stay with me because I want your insights following this next report. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.